The bell struck one and shook the silent tower, the graves give up their dead. Fair Eleanor walked by the castle gate and looked in. A hollow groan ran through the dreary vaults. She shrieked aloud and sunk upon the steps on the cold stone her pale cheek. Sickly smells of death issue as from a sepulcher, and all is silent but the sighing vaults. Chill death withdraws his hand, and she revives. Amazed, she finds herself upon her feet, and, like a ghost, through narrow passages, walking, feeling the cold walls with her hands. Fancy returns, and now she thinks of bones and grinning skulls, and corruptible death wrapped in his shroud, and now fancies she hears deep sighs, and sees pale, sickly ghosts gliding. At length, no fancy but reality distracts her. A rushing sound, and the feet of one that fled approaches. Ellen stood like a dumb statue, froze to stone with fear. The wretch approaches, crying, The deed is done. Take this, and send it by whom thou wilt send. It is my life. Send it to Eleanor. He is dead, and howling after me for blood. Take this, he cried, and thrust into her arms a wet napkin wrapped about then rushed past howling she received into her arms pale death and followed on the wings of fear they passed swift through the outer gate the wretch howling leaped o'er the wall into the moat stifling in mud fair ellen passed to the bridge and heard a gloomy voice cry is it done as the deer wounded Ellen flew over the pathless rain, as the arrows that fly by night, destruction flies and strikes in darkness, she fled from fear till at her house arrived. Her maids await her, on her bed she falls, that bed of joy where erst her lord hath pressed. Ah, woman's fear, she cried, ah, cursed duke, Ah, my dear lord, ah, wretched Eleanor! My lord was like a flower upon the brows of lusty May. Ah, life as frail as a flower! O oh, ghastly death, withdraw thy cruel hand! Seekest thou that flower to deck thy horrid temples? My lord was like a star in highest heaven, drawn down to earth by spells and wickedness. My lord was like the opening eyes of day, when western winds creep softly o'er the flowers. But he is darkened, like the summer's noon clouded, fallen like the stately tree cut down. The breath of heaven dwelt among his leaves. O oh, Eleanor, weak woman, filled with woe! Thus, having spoke, she raised up her head, and saw the bloody napkin by her side, which in her arms she brought, and now, tenfold more terrified, saw it unfold itself. Her eyes were fixed, the bloody cloth unfolds, disclosing to her sight the murdered head of her dear lord, all ghastly pale, clotted with gory blood it groaned and thus it spake o eleanor behold thy husband's head who sleeping on the stones of yonder tower was reft of life by the accursed duke a hired villain turned my sleep to death o eleanor beware the cursed duke o give not him thy hand now i am dead he seeks thy love who coward in the night hired a villain to bereave my life. She sat with dead cold limbs, stiffened to stone. She took the gory head up in her arms. She kissed the pale lips. She had no tears to shed. She hugged it to her breast and groaned her last.